Hi guys, this is Jen. In this short animated video, we are looking at symbolism. What is a symbol? What are some examples of symbols in real life and in literature? And how can we tell symbolism apart from its similar but different cousin, the motif? As always, if you enjoy my work, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. This will really help me continue making useful English Lit study content for you all, and I would massively appreciate it. What's a symbol? Simply put, a symbol is something we use to represent an idea. This something could be tangible like an object. For example, an apple could represent help. Or it could be something intangible, like a colour. For instance, red may represent passion. We may not notice it, but we are actually surrounded by examples of symbolism in our everyday lives. For instance, there's the colour scheme of traffic lights. Green indicates that it's okay for us to proceed, therefore symbolising safety, whereas red indicates that we should stop, therefore symbolising caution and possible danger. Another example is the wedding band. Literally, it's just a ring made out of gold or silver, but what it symbolises is lifelong commitment, binding two people together through the institution of marriage. In Macbeth, the dagger that Macbeth uses to kill Duncan is a tool for murder, and at first read, it may seem to symbolise the Thane's bloodlust. But the fact that Macbeth first sees the dagger in a hallucination suggests the weapon represents something deeper, namely the blinding effects of ambition and man's desire to pursue ambition regardless of its dangers. Golding's Lord of the Flies is also a text chock full of symbols. There's the conch that Ralph blows to summon the boys for an assembly, and symbolically, this conch represents civilized order. The fire is another symbol with different layers of meaning. On the one hand, it represents the hope for rescue, because it's only by keeping the fire alive would faraway ships be able to see signs of life on the island. But equally, it represents the potential for destruction, as the fire ultimately runs amok to kill some of the boys and burn up the entire island. In fact, one could argue that Lord of the Flies as a whole is symbolic, as the boys' failed attempt to maintain order and decency in a makeshift community is a microcosm for many a failed societies and governments throughout history, which always seem to end up in war. And this is why we often consider Lord of the Flies to be an allegory, which basically means a story that symbolises a moral or political idea. But how is a symbol different from a motif? While a symbol is something used to represent an idea, a motif is an idea used many times in a text. So we see that both a symbol and a motif refer to something representing an idea, but their key difference lies in the frequency with which they appear in a text. So a symbol could appear just once or twice in a novel or a poem, but a motif must recur, i.e. appear time and again, throughout a text. Let's use Macbeth again to quickly illustrate this difference. In the play, the dagger is a symbol, but hallucinations are a motif. Why? Note that the dagger appears either only in Act 2, when the Macbeths carry out Duncan's murder, or through passing references like, quote, a dagger of the mind, a false creation, which is what Macbeth says before he kills Duncan and the quote, the air-drawn dagger, which is what Lady Macbeth says when she chastises her husband for losing his composure at the banquet where he sees Banquo's ghost. On the other hand, hallucinations occur throughout the play, beginning from Macbeth's vision of the dagger before he kills Duncan in Act 2, his vision of Banquo's ghost in Act 3, and of the horrible sight of the witch's apparitions in Act 4, as well as Lady Macbeth's imagined sight of the damned spot on her hands as she raves in her sleepwalking episode in Act 5. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope this clarifies for you what symbolism means, what it looks like in literature, and how it's different from the motif. You can check out my blog post on this topic, which I'll link to in the description box below. And finally, 
Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We want to see more useful English Lit study content going forward. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.